Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your September 4th through the 10th love, week, love reading. I've been talking really fast tonight so I do apologize ahead of time. If this doesn't resonate with you, um, you can check your moon sign or your rising sign, but do keep in mind that this is for thousands of people, so it's not going to resonate with everybody. This is for Cancer, September 4th through September 10th. This is in Intended to be a love reading. I have pre shuffled these three times with the bridge. So. Awareness as above, so below. Insecure. Uh. I think you've been doing a, some observing of a situation. Perhaps you feel like you're being lied to or cheated on. There's definitely some love here, Cancer. Definitely. Okay. I think there's an unexpected choice in love. When the lover's card comes up, that's what that is. So there's an unexpected choice in love. Plus we have the two of cups. So there's definitely some attraction going on this week. Um, but I see that somebody isn't accepting it. So that's odd. It looks like somebody's not accepting love. Or you're not seeing love. Maybe it's somebody from the past. Okay? Because it looks like there's somebody from the past right here. So you've been reminiscing about somebody from the past. But somebody isn't accepting the love. There is a deep attraction to somebody. Okay? Could be a uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Or this could be you. Could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. You could have a choice between more than one person. Um, this right here is there's something sneaky going on behind the scenes, but whatever the sneakiness is I think that you are aware of it and it's causing you some insecurities You know, maybe you could be the one being sneaky or somebody could be being sneaky towards you, but I, I you're definitely aware of it um, th This right here. I think that the, you know, there's somebody that is um, Either you're watching somebody, stalking somebody, look, checking them out on social media, or they're doing it to you, okay? You know, maybe somebody, you have a wish of being with somebody, or somebody has a wish of being with you, all right? So it could go both ways. We have Libra here. We have Gemini. I already said Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, we have Gemini again. So we have Aquarius, which I think I already said. Like I said, my word, I'm having a hard time tonight with my words. But um, I do see that your wishes being fulfilled is definitely part of it, okay? Or somebody is wishing, somebody is wishing something, wishing to be with somebody, all right? Um... There's an about to be an awakening. And I think that with this lover's card, perhaps there's somebody that you don't expect. Maybe you're attracted to somebody that you didn't expect to be attracted to. Because we have the lover's card. Or you didn't expect it. The um, The feelings to be what they are. That's what it is. Here we have the Two of Wands. This is about the fork in the road. So I'm just wondering if you have to make a choice. I think I wonder if you have to make a choice between two people. Now, I do see that you need to make a choice as whether you want to focus on work or do you want to focus on love. 
this is where do you focus your energy? Have you been focusing too much much of your time on work and not giving enough time to love? That's just something to consider. All right? Because it looks like here things are moving slowly and they could be moving slowly in regards to love because you're giving too much of your focus on the work. Um, and it could be affecting your wishes, your happily ever after, you know, your wishes being fulfilled in love. I mean, it just could be. Somebody else, somebody could be doing something behind your back, okay? Somebody else, somebody that you're involved with could have had an unexpected attraction to somebody else so they're not offering you love anymore. I mean, I'm just giving all the scenarios here. Um... There's definitely going to be a wake-up call, okay? There's going to be a wake-up call that causes you that, you know, there's that... With every action, there is a reaction. So that it is going to cause you to make a decision. And it could, you know... I'm going to get some more cards. <clears throat> I mean, there could be a divorce. There could be some, there could be a divorce. I mean, there's all kinds of different situations here. There could be a split. There could be something becoming made final. Um... There is definitely going to be an awakening, and I think this awakening is affected is affecting your love life. All right, um, I think there's been something going on behind the back behind your back, <laughs> and I'm sorry to tell you that. Um, or it could be you doing something behind somebody's back, and I think there was an attraction to somebody that was unexpected, um, but you're completely aware of it. All right. I mean, you could be watching somebody behind the scenes or somebody could be watching you behind the scenes. And that person could end up being your soulmate. All right? So there's a couple different scenarios here. And I think it's definitely time for you to make a decision. I think it's decision-making time, Cancer. I mean, do you want to focus on work for the rest of your life or do you want to focus on love? I mean, that's definitely something that you need to consider because I think that love really isn't at the top of the... I think it is, but it isn't. You know, I think you want the love, but you bury your, your hurt and your feelings and your work. And I was going off of that card and we got it again. Um, and you, I do think that you have a choice between two people. I think that you're very, very attracted to somebody. And I think there's definitely been some impulsive behavior. Somebody has been impulsive. And they're doing something very sneakily. This is there's very there's something sneaky going on. All right, and I think that you have invested some time. You've invested time, and you've invested uh, work in something. I think that you are completely aware. There's something sneaky going on. And you know what it is. It's really not a secret, even though. You know, maybe it hasn't come out yet, come out in the open, but it's really not a secret because you know, your intuition knows, and you're about to, this is the karma card, everything happens for a reason, it's going to come out, alright, whatever this is, it is going to come out, and it's going to bring you happiness in the long run, there is happiness in the long run, alright, but right now I think you're feeling insecure and you're burying yourself in your work. But I also think that things are starting to grow for you, all right? I think things are starting to get better um, financially, but I think you're juggling more than one person. Maybe you, or somebody is juggling, it could be your partner. Your partner could be juggling more than one person, all right? There's definitely a strong attraction to somebody that is unexpected here. And somebody acts impulsively. But it could lead to a soulmate kind of union. I'm not saying it's a soulmate, but it's like a, it's a union. Any kind of union. It's, it's a union with somebody that you feel very, very, very connected to. I don't know why you're so worried about money. 
okay? You're definitely focusing more on money than love. Look at all the pentacles. Pentacles are focusing on money, focusing on job, okay? I see that there's a lot of love here to be had, but if you look right underneath here, there's four of cups not focusing on love. So I think that, you know, maybe you're interested in somebody or somebody is interested in you, but you're not giving it the time. Like I said, this is, I don't know if I told you guys this, but this is for thousands of people. So for some of it might resonate and some of it might not. Okay. I do see happiness in the future. That's for darn sure. But you do need to follow your intuition. Whatever's going on up there that's making you think that somebody is deceiving you is true. Okay. Because I do think that there is some, some kind of sneakiness going on. Um... There's definitely a magnetic attraction between two people. And it could be your partner with somebody else or you with somebody. That was unexpected. It's an un unexpected attraction. I definitely see some stalking as well. Change is on the horizon. Two of Pentacles is also about change. Perhaps you're going to start, maybe you're actually going to look for love. If you're not, if you're not looking for love, or you're going to make a decision, you know, and you're going to stop juggling. <laughs> you definitely need to make a decision. Unrequited love. There's, there's something going on here. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Maybe you're not maybe you you're not interested in somebody anymore and so you've you need to make a decision. If you're not or if somebody isn't interested in you, it's definitely time to make a de decision and let them go. And that's the problem right there. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay? If you're not getting the love that you need or you're not giving the love that you need to give, all right, you need to let it go. And, and if you're scared, you know, because of codependency, somebody's scared to be alone. It goes right from one relationship to the other because they're scared to be alone. That, that, that mindset needs to go. Okay? If that's the case. Addictions are affecting you. Maybe you're addicted to... And I, think, I don't think that it's... I think it's addicted to not being alone. I mean, I, don't th I think you're scared to be alone. I don't know where that is coming from. You know, there could be some physical addictions as well. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Maybe you've been stalking somebody and you're interested in somebody, but you're afraid because you have addictions. That definitely could be for somebody. And you don't want the secret to come out that you have addictions. You're only deceiving yourself by doing that. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. I was just talking about codependency and addictions give it a chance if it's you're interested in somebody and you're scared that they won't like you because of your baggage or whatever the hell it is don't don't look at it that way give it a chance see what happens <coughs> it could be Somebody who is your soulmate. Could lead to a, a, a harmonious union. With a lot of passion. We have this right here. And it could lead to your wishes being fulfilled. Don't be scared to show somebody your baggage. This isn't, this is, you need to let go of somebody. Because these are, 
Pay attention to the red flag. Somebody has deceived you. And you want to let them go, but you can't. There's no, you, there's no secrets. You, you, they can't keep secrets from you because you know, you know, you're aware. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Somebody, there's unrequited love somewhere in your life. It's either you or the other person. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You need to make a choice so that happiness can come. <laughs> there's true love over here. Over here, there's unrequited love and insecurity and codependency. And over here, there's true love. So it, you definitely need to make a choice. There's no doubt about it. You could Your unrequited love could be with your work. You can't, you're not, that's not love. Could be your work. Could be another person that you need to let go of. Could be both ways. True love is over here in the future waiting for you. They might be watching you right now. Or you might be watching them. Let go of control is, issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. All this says is to, is to let the universe drive. And I think that's what you're doing. But I think you're, you're really, you do have to put in some kind of effort. You do. If you are being deceived by somebody or cheated on or lied to, that's a red flag. Pay attention to the red flags. All right. If somebody isn't giving you the love that you deserve, what do you do? You stop feeling like a victim because this is a victimized card. Yeah, you stop feeling a bit like a victim, okay? Because you're not a victim. You, the sign of cancer, is the master of your emotions. That represents you. So you have the ability to master your emotions. And on the bottom of the deck, which I haven't showed anybody yet, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This is what's going on. In your life. That's why this lover's card is here. There's an unexpected choice in love that leads to a lot of happiness. But I think that there's something that needs to be released first. So I think that you have to release something and you need to wake up. There's an awakening on the horizon. You need to wake up and figure out where you're going to focus your energy and make a decision. Okay, because we have the justice. You need to make a decision on something, a final decision on what, which path you want to take. So this week, I think, is about making a decision. Because true love is in the future. And I think that you've been thinking about it and thinking about somebody. I think that you have somebody in mind, but you're still stuck someplace else. That I think somebody has deceived you. I do. Or you've deceived somebody. That's what I have, Cancer. Talk to you later.